Hello children, welcome to Math Park. We are going to solve last exercise, exercise 17D from the topic circles for class 9 ICC, the book Concise Selena. Each and every question is going to be solved over here, children. So if you like it, please share with your friends and if you are new to the channel, please subscribe. The first question, the radius of the circle is 13 centimeter and the length of the one of the chords, the length of one of the chords of this circle is 24 centimeter. So this is the chord. Let us take the length of the, the AB as a chord. So we have a chord AB. The chord AB, the length is 24. Let, this is the center of the circle. And the radius of the circle is 13 centimeter. Find the distance of the chord from the center. So let this be the distance of the chord from the center. And we always take it as a perpendicular distance. Let this distance be here as the OP is the distance of a chord from a center which we have to calculate. Now here the length of the chord is 24 centimeter. We know that perpendicular from center bisects the chord. So half of 24 is 12. So this is 12 and 12. Now we will be finding OP. So by Pythagoras theorem, by Pythagoras theorem, we have uh, OA square is equal to AP square plus OP square. We need to find OP. So we have OP square is equal to OA square minus AP square, which is 13 square minus 12 square. 13 square is 169. 12 square is 144. 169 minus 144 is 25. So we got OP square is 25. So OP is equal to square root of 25, which is 5 centimeter. So this is how the distance of the chord from the center is 5 centimeter. Moving to question number 2. Prove that equal chords of congruent circles obtain equal angles at. So you have two chords. Let us take the chord of this circle as AB and the chord of another circle as CD. And they are the congruent circles. So they have equal radii. The congruent circles are the circles which have the same radius. So this is O is the center of this circle and O dash is the center of this circle. You are su supposed to prove that the angles obtained by them are equal. So you are given AB is equal to CD. So you are given, given chord AB is equal to CD and you have to prove that they obtain equal angle, angles at center. So you have to prove angle AOB is equal to angle CO dash D. So let us prove these two triangles congruent now. So in triangle, so we'll prove these triangles congruent to have the corresponding parts equal. So we have in triangle AOB and triangle CO dash D, you have OA is equal to OC and you have OB is equal to O dash D. O, sorry, OA is equal to O dash C. Why are they? Because they are the radii of congruent circles. Radii of congruent circles are equal. Congruent circles. And when you are given AB is equal to CD is already given to you. So this is how you get. Therefore, you get triangle AOB is congruent to triangle CO dash D by SS. S. So these two are equal. So therefore, triangles are congruent by SSS. And since the triangles are congruent, you have angle AOB is equal to angle CO dash D by CPCT, corresponding parts of congruent triangle. This is how you get the angle, equal angles of end, equal angles at the center. Question number three, draw two circles of different radii. How many points these circles have in common? So uh, let us take uh, these two circles, one, uh, these two circles, and you can see that these two circles are not at all intersecting each other. So they have zero point in common. Now, if two circles touch exactly at one point, they have only one point in common. And if two circles intersect each other, if two circles intersect each other, they have two points in common. Okay, and uh, they said that of different radii. But if you have of a same radii, they are going to be congruent circles. And then the congruent circles have infinite, infinite points in common. Got it? Now, suppose you are given a circle. Describe a method by which you can find the center of a circle. 
so if you are given a circle maybe you have drawn a circle with the help of a bangle or a bottle top and you don't know the center of a circle to locate the center what we do is we draw two chords let us say say ab is a chord and another chord say cd is another chord and then we draw the perpendicular bisectors of, bisectors of a chord so to draw the perpendicular bisector we take more than half of the line segment draw arc on both sides more than and with the same radius we'll draw the arcs from the b and join this this becomes a perpendicular bisector a perpendicular bisector meaning making two equal parts of the line segment so let us draw the perpendicular bisectors for ab this is the perpendicular bisector for ab and draw the perpendicular bisector for cd and this is the per and where these two perpendicular bisectors meet is called the center of a circle got it so drawing two chords and drawing the perpendicular bisectors of them where the perpendicular bisectors meet is the center of the circle question number 5 given two equal chords ab and cd of a circle so you are given ab is equal to cd let this be equation number 1 they are equal so and the chords are intersecting at point p you have to prove that ap is equal to cp and bp is equal to dp okay now for that let us draw uh, drop a perpendicular from o on ab so perpendicular from o on ab say om and perpendicular from o on uh, a uh, cd is say on so this is the perpendicular let us draw the perpendicular and what we know is the perpendicular from center bisects the chord we know that perpendicular from center bisects the chord bisects the chord so since we have uh, dropped the perpendicular from center so it bisects so since we have ab is equal to cd we have half of ab we have half of ab is also equal to half of cd and then half of ab let us take as am is equal to cn got it so this is our equation number 2 now we let us join op and we will be now proving this to triangles congruent so we have in triangle omp and triangle onp you have angle omp is equal to angle onp is 90 degree because you have dropped the perpendicular from om then we have om is equal to on because equal chords are equidistant from center equal chords are equidistant from center it is important to write the reason here equidistant from center and then we have uh, op this is hypotenuse now this is the right triangle so we have hypotenuse hypotenuse op is equal to op is common is common to both and therefore you have triangle omp is congruent to triangle onp by rhs if the triangles are congruent we have if the triangles are congruent we have pm is equal to pn so therefore we have pm is equal to pn right let this be our equation number 2 add this equation 1 and 2 so equation 1 plus 2 you get am my plus pm is equal to cn plus pn and am plus pn is nothing but ap and cn plus pn is nothing but Uh, cp so this is how we have done with the first part equation equation 1 and equation 2 what sorry equation 1 and equation 3 what will you do with this equation 1 and 3 to get the part dp and dp equal so we have i'm moving up there here so we have let us do let us do equation 1 minus 3 equation 1 you have ab minus ap is equal to cd minus cp and ab minus ap ab minus ap is nothing but ep and cd minus cp is nothing but dp and thus we have done with question number 5 length 
of length 16 and 12. So, uh, the length of AB is 16 and length of CD is 12. Calculate the distance between the chords if they are on the same side of the uh, center and they are on the opposite side of the center. So, when they are on the opposite side of the center, we'll be doing first. Let us do the second pass, uh, part first. So, when they are on the opposite side of a uh, center, this is your center O and uh, let OM be perpendicular to AB and ON be perpendicular to CD. The length of AB is 16. So, perpendicular from center biases the chord. So, this becomes half of 16, 8 and 8. Length of uh, CD is 12. So, this part becomes 6 and 6. Now, the radius of a circle is given as 10. So, let us let me join OM. So, this is 10. Now, we will be finding OM first. So, in triangle AOM, this is the perpendicular. So, by Pythagoras theorem, we have OM is equal om square is equal to oa that is 10 square minus am which is 8 square so that is 100 minus 64 which is 36 so you get om is equal to you get om is equal to square root of 36 which is 6 centimeter you got this as 6 centimeter now let us work for the part on using this triangle so we have in triangle in triangle o c n by pythagoras theorem again we have o n square is equal to the radius is 10 here so we have 10 square minus 6 square which is 100 minus 36 that is 64 so you get o n square is equal to 64 so o n is square root of 64 which is 8 centimeter and the distance between the chords which is M MN, MN is equal to OM plus ON, that is 6 plus 8, that is 14 centimeter. So, this is the distance between the chords. When they are on the opposite side of the center, we got this as 14 centimeter. Now, let us take a circle again and we have the chords on the same side as that of a center. So, this is your center and the chords, this is your chord AB. And the chord AB is again 16. Let us drop the perpendicular over here. So, we have OM and this is ON is the perpendicular. Here again, we need to find the distance between the chords. So, MN is what we have to calculate. The radius of the circle is same again, 10 centimeter. AB is 16. So, this is 8 and 8. And the CD is going to be, let me take it this side. So, CD is equal to uh, your chord CD is 12. So, this is 6 and 6. So, we need to find OM and ON. So, again, 10, 8, 6 is the Pyth Pythagorean triplet. So, we get OM is equal to 6 centimeter. And if we use the circle uh, with this uh, uh, ODN, we get ON is equal to this is 10. The the high uh, the radius is 10 and this part was 6 so the another side that is on is equal to 8 centimeter to find the distance between this that uh, the chord so you get mn is equal to so this i'm doing similarly as we have already used the pythagoras theorem with same i'm not showing but in the exam you have to show with all these steps that we have shown over here so you get mn is equal to on minus om which is 8 minus 6 and that is 2 centimeter. Got that? Question number 7 is much easier. In the given figure, O is the center of the circle with radius 20 centimeter. So, the radius of the circle is 20 centimeter and OD is perpendicular to uh, AB and AB is 32. We know that perpendicular from the center biases the chord. So, 32. So, this is going to be 16 and 16. You have to find length CD. So, for that, let us use Pythagoras theorem to find OC. So, you get OC square is equal to OA, that is hypotenuse square minus AC square, which is 20 square minus 16 square. 20 square is 400 minus 256, that is 144 is your OC square. So, you get OC is equal to 12C. 
centimeter. So you got this as 12 centimeter. You need to find CD. Now OD is a radius. So you get CD is equal to OD minus OC, which is 20 minus 12. And that is 8 centimeter. Easy question. Question number 8. In the given figure, AB and CD are two equal chords of circle with center O. If P is the midpoint of chord AB and Q is the midpoint of chord CD uh, and POQ, this angle is 150 degree. This angle is 150 degree. Find angle APQ. Okay, this angle now. Okay, APQ. Now, for that, first let us find this angle. Let, let these angles be x and x because these are the equal chords and equal chords are equidistant from the center. So you get triangle OPQ as an isosceles triangle. You are given AB is equal to CD. So, so the equal chords are equidistant from the center. So therefore you have OP is equal to OQ. Equal chords are equidistant from the center. Let us take this angle to be x and x. So you get angle in this triangle OPQ. You get x plus x plus 150 is equal to 180. So you get 2x is equal to 180 minus 150, this is 30. So x is equal to 15 degree. That is, you get angle OPQ. Angle OPQ is equal to 15 degree. And already you know this angle, uh, you are asked to find the triangle APQ. So this is the angle which we have to calculate. Now we know that the this when we are drawing a perpendicular from the chord okay so this angle angle opa is equal to 90 degree and you have to find angle apq is equal to angle opa minus angle opq that is 90 minus 15 and which is 75 degree got that in the given circle, AOC is a diameter. So, this is going to be 180 degree with the center O. AXB is half of BYC. So, AXB is half of BYC. So, let us take, you have arc AXB. Arc AXB is equal to half of arc BYC. So, you get uh, twice of AXB is equal to arc BYC. So, same happens with the angles. So, if I take AXB, AXB is subtending angle AOB. So, that's why you get twice of angle AOB is equal to angle BOC. So, let us take this angle to be X. So, it is double. So, this is X and this is 2X. So, we have X plus 2X is equal to 180 degree since AOC is a diameter. Since AOC is a diameter. So, you get 3x is equal to 180 degree. So, x is equal to 180 by uh, 3, that is 60 degree. And you are asked to find angle BOC. So, angle BOC is equal to 2x, which is 2 times 60, and that is 120 degree. Easy that? The last question of the exercise, the circumference of a circle with center O is divided into 3 arcs. It is divided into three arcs A, P, B. Let us take these three points first. So it is arc A, P, B. Okay. And another arc B, Q, C. So B, Q, C is another arc. And the arc C, R, A. So these are the three arcs. And uh, you have to find angle B, O, C. So arc A, P, B is subtending angle A, O, B. Arc B, Q, C is subtending angle B, O, C. And arc uh, CRA is subtending angle COR over here. Now, since you are given arc APB is equal upon 2. So, let us take this as a constant. So, you get arc, arc APB is equal to 2K. Okay. So, that is how you get angle AOB is also equal to 2K. Right. The same way you get arc BOC. So, similarly, you get uh, angle B O C the subtending angle B Q C. So you get angle B O C is equal to 3K. And you get angle C R A is equal to 4K. Now let us sorry, not C R A C O A. C 
COA at the center. I'm talking of the arc. Since you have arc, APB is equal to 2K. So your angle subtended by that arc is going to be, this is going to be 2K. Angle subtended by this arc, BQC is going to be 3K. And angle subtended by arc, CRA is going to be 4K. You are asked to find angle BOC. Since it forms a complete angle, you get 2K plus 3K plus 4K is equal to 360, the complete angle formed over here. 2 plus 3, 5 plus 4, 9K is equal to 360. So you get K is equal to 360 divided by 9, which is 40 degree. And you are asked to find BOC. So you get angle BOC is equal to 3 times 40, which is 120 degree. Done with this chapter, children. If you like it and if you feel it is helpful, please share with your friends. And if you are new to the channel, please subscribe. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.